Hi and welcome to another video. This is Eleni and today I'm going to share with you how I created this cute junk journal that looks like a handbag. Because it is the first time I try something like this, it's better to make a template first. So here you see how I do that by using light cardstock from packaging. You can see how and where I score and fold to create the bag and I'm using inches to measure it because my scoring board have only inches. The size of the cardstock is approximately 6 by 11 and a half inches. The first 4 inches is the front of the bag. The next area is the bottom that is 1 inch. 4 inches again for the back side of the bag and half of an inch for the top part. And then it's the flap of the bag that you can make any size you want. I recommend 2 inches or 1 and a half. Now I ended up filling it with too much paper, therefore it's a little bit hard to close it. So depending on how much stuff you want to put in it, you can choose to use a bigger cardstock and make the bottom part and the top part wider and keep the rest as is. Now it's time to make the actual handbag with the help of the template and I'm using a similar piece of light cardstock for that as well. I'm choosing patterned paper for the outside, the inside and for two signatures and I'm also going to use this heart embellishment I did a while ago with cardstock from a cereal box. I leave you the link to the tutorial below. And I choose all the scrap papers I'm going to use in my junk journal and fold them and putting them together, creating the two signatures. I'm inking the edges that might show on the side and I'm using matte medium to adhere the papers, but any glue will do. I also use a bone folder, you can use a knife or a ruler if you don't have one, to score at the folds a little bit, because I find it easier to adhere the paper that way.
You can glue the paper on the outside the same way as the inside, but I'm going to do it a little different to cover the stitches from the signatures. And here you will see how. I'm just figuring this out as I go and it is a junk journal after all so nothing needs to be perfect but here is how I measured to make the six holes for the signatures. This part may be a little tricky to see in the video if you are not familiar with how to do this, but what I'm practically doing is that for each signature I go out through the middle hole, then I go in through the top hole, then out through the bottom one and in again through the center where the two ends of the thread meet so that I can fasten them together with a knot. I cut, fold or tear anything that sticks out. I cover the stitches with a piece of paper that I had cut before. Then you will see how I create the handle and the embellishment part that is there to keep the bag closed. I'm using hot glue because it dries instantly and it holds better. And after that you will have followed me creating this cute little handbag junk journal that I find adorable. There will be a second part of this video where I show you a flip through of how I embellished the pages in this journal 
using all the cute little stuff that I got in Happy Mail and from packages and whatnot, so stay tuned. Hope you liked my process and got inspired to create your own little purse. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment under it, but also make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified about my new videos, because by doing all that, you are helping me draw more attention to my channel and reaching more people. Thank you so much for being here. Stay safe and see you soon. Love and kisses.